Hello, this is Anthony with Copley, and today I'll be explaining how to configure EOE mode. So, uh, right now we actually have a network of three nodes on an Ethercat network, all being commanded by TwinCat. And at the same time, we're monitoring using CME over UDP. So, there's a small percentage of the Ethercat datagram that actually has UDP data inside of it. So we're using that um, Ethercat datagram to transmit our UDP data. So EOE stands for Ethernet over Ethercat. So yeah, we have a dual access drive here, um, and we have uh, an IES on the, as the next node. Then we also have a four axis uh, ME4 on the, as the first node. So I'll show this uh, later. So I'm connected to three different nodes on the Ethercat network. The first node is a Copley 4-axis drive. It's an ME4, and it has a 5.02 firmware version inside of it. It's Ethercat firmware. The second node is a dual-axis drive. It's an XE2, and XE2 has 5, version 5 firmware. And the last node is an IES, and it has 2.14 version firmware. So these are all Ethercat drives in Ethercat mode. So each one of those nodes has a corresponding ESI file. Make sure that the ESI file matches the firmware version in the drive and the model that you're using. So if we want to get the ESI file, we click this link, and then we enter in the firmware version into the text field, and then we check the box of the model that we're using. So I had a, an ME4, and it was using 5.02 firmware, and then I want the slots version of that. I click Get ESI, click this link here, and it appears in my downloads. And then I take those ESI files and I will copy and paste them into this file location. TwinCat 3.1 config IO Ethercat. So these are XML documents um, that I'm going to put in this location. And you can see they're right here. Now I'm going to open a new TwinCat project and I'm going to scan for devices. So I selected the interface there in that list and I'm uh, going to use uh, NC control. And as we can see, all three nodes are found. So uh, Let's go ahead and enable, let's change some settings here. So under mailbox, I'm going to change the cyclic cycle time to 20 milliseconds because CME needs you know, at least 20 milliseconds um, to update and refresh the screen at a reasonable rate. If under mailbox we go to EOE, we're going to target the uh, a specific IP address, so we'll just say any arbitrary one that's on the same network as the default gateway. The default gateway is the the exact IP address that matches the uh, USB to Ethernet adapter that I'm using. So if I go to IP config forward slash all, you can find my Ethernet adapter uh, right here. So this is 192.168.0.98. That's the IPv4 address. So this is the gateway. So this is connected. It's just an adapter that's connected to the uh, the first node of my network, and it's just interfacing between my laptop and the uh, cable going into the drive. So it's a USB to uh, USB to Ethernet adapter. 
So I put that IP address in here as the gateway, and then any IP address now I can just I can just set the first three bytes have to match because, as you can see with the subnet mask, but the last byte should be unique. So I'll just put it as one there. So again, this is the ME4. This is the first node in the network. Um, all right, the mailbox is set. Uh, we're all ready to go. So the ME4 is configured. We'll do the exact same thing with the XE2. Uh, we'll change this to be 20. And then we'll change the IP address to use 2 this time. Okay, now we're all set to use EOE. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and activate the configuration. I'm just going to press this button here. And then I'm going to go to uh, open up CME. And this time we're going to use UDP because the Ethercat network is being used by TwinCat. I'm going to select the adapter. And there we have it. All three uh, uh, devices were found. Um, so this second one is the XE2, the dual access drive. And um, yeah, this is how you would connect to CME, to all the nodes on your network, your EtherCAT network, via EOE. So it's, you know, there's a small percentage of the EtherCAT datagram packet that is dedicated to UDP information, and that's what's being transmitted here and uh, received by CME. So I hope this was helpful.